Good evening, everyone. We're at North Andover High School for girls varsity soccer. North Andover in black, Lowell High School in the gray with the red numbers. North Andover played last night right on this field. It was Masco one, North Andover zero. North Andover had more of the chances, hit the crossbar once, hit the uh, post twice, but could not put the ball in the net. This place is packed with track coaches tonight. Coach Nugent, the athletic director, Coach Marf, I'm Coach Baggs from the track team. Michaela Blaney is operating the scoreboard. She's a track hall of famer. I have Aiden Stone, the freshman honor student, behind the camera. Last night was North Andover's first loss. New 40 minute halves. For Lowell, Mackenzie Bissonneau Bissone is in goal, the senior. Up front is number 30, Veronica Jones. I think she's a thrower on the track team, maybe doing a little pentathlon, if I'm not mistaken. She might be uh, MVC shot put champion. I think she is Ronnie Jones, I think. Shout out to her. Waiting for the referee's whistle, waiting for the football players to uh, leave the end line. The referee's ready now. Arm is up and we're underway. That's Janie Papel, sophomore. It's Sam Clemus and Ella Rowe in the midfield. Ella Rowe has the ball. Trying to find Charlotte Martell, number 22, up the right sideline. Ella Slayton runs on to the ball. Looking for a cross, corner kick. Shout out to Lowell shot put coach Andre Dubois for uh, finding a shot putter on the soccer team. Oh, that uh, ball went through a couple of legs. Coach Mike Wilson will all saying away, away. Liv Zawicki wins the battle for the ball. That's Erica Wojcik. Wojcik. Shout out to Dad Stan Wojcik who was here last night. I didn't haven't seen him yet tonight. Is Liv Zawicki. Just a couple North Andover players off sides. All the action in the Lowell defensive in, end so far. Jane Papel, Janie Papel trying to switch fields, finds fellow sophomore Charlotte Martell. Here's Liv Zawicki, another sophomore to the far post. I believe that was a pass to the far post, a little too close to the goalkeeper. Goal kick low. Last night the stadium was crawling with track coaches as well. Jason Garenti was here. Of course, this North Andover Varsity Girls soccer team is crawling with, uh, or it's packed with track people. The whole back line. Zawicki, Maddie Jackson, Ainsley Chittick, Quinn Phillips, all track people. Martell in the midfield, track. Paige Buffini, the goalkeeper, did track her freshman year. She's a senior now, no longer does track. Ella Slayton right there, knocked over a lower player. That's another track star. Erica Wosick on, on the far end. Number 10, Myler. That was Ella Slayton, got a little nudge from the back. North Andover trying to build, that's Sam Clemus. Ski captain, I, I heard. That'll be a Lowell throw in. Last night was opening night, huge crowd. From Masco, not as uh, big a crowd on a Tuesday night. 
not as many home games as well. There was a, there was a quite a few home games finishing before this, uh, yesterday's soccer game started, so quite a crowd. Janie Papel crossing, Charlotte Martel, one touch, off the post. Right to the goalkeeper's hands. It's the fourth time they've hit wood, wood, woodwork in two nights. Lives a wiki. They're trying to find Martel. Throw in North Andover. 36 minutes left, first half. North Andover in black. Lowell in gray. The second time uh, Ellis Layton's been pushed in the back. Referee hasn't been interested so far. Ella Rowe, a little too hard that pass. Sam Clemus. Out wide to Quinn Phillips. Shout out to older sister Maggie Phillips. Dispossessed by Lowell. Couldn't find Ronnie Jones. Maddie Jackson cut that pass off. Janie Papel, mom and dad are here. Shout out to Lily Papel, former track person. At, uh, she's at UNC right now. Ainsley Chittick. Charlotte Martel. Erica Wosa called for that ball and she got it over the goalie and in. Erica Wosick from Charlotte Martel. Uh, the referee was right there, so she must have been on side. The ball was a little bit after she called for it, but uh, Charlotte Martel over the top. The wind is kind of going to the right, to the left, a little bit, Aiden, I think. So maybe the ball got held up a little bit so Erica Wosick could run onto it. Keeper didn't uh, seem to want to come out or it was a little late. 1 0, North Andover. Most of the action has been in the Lowell defensive end. North Andover, goal number 10, Erica Wojcik. I have Wosick. That's Coach Marf on the public address uh, system. Throw in North Andover. The North Andover Scarlet Knights are celebrating their 10th year in the Merrimack Valley Conference. Coach said offsides. The, he, the referee was much better in line than the coach, Mike Wilson. I don't think the referee appreciates uh, being told the players are offside. I can't tell from where I am. We're on top of the press box at midfield. That's Janie Papel. Back to Quinn Phillips. Over to Ainsley Chittick. Shout out to younger brother Sam Chittick, both on the track team, both throwers. Sam Chittick's in the band, I heard, the marching band. Lowell has playing with one forward, and I, I assume it uh, looks like three, five people in the midfield. There's Charlotte Martel. Created a nice space. Maddie Jackson. Maddie Jackson tells me before the game that she can play all the positions or they put her at all the positions. I've seen her mostly on defense. Last night they had her at forward for a little while. That's an offside call. 32 minutes left, first half. North Andover one, Lowell zero on an Erica Wosa goal. Plenty of time uh, Erica Wosick had to hit that ball over the keeper. It was a nice bouncing ball, so it was not difficult to put it up in the air. Keeper was kind of halfway out.
This is Erica Wosik in it with a head of steam. Couldn't find Ellis Layton. Ellis Layton uh, runs the 200 and the 400 meter dash on the track team. Paige Puffini uh, wasn't quite sure whether she should run out, but she decided to come out eventually. Oh, number 14 headed it back to Ellis Layton. This is dangerous ball. Play on, says the referee. Erica Wosik's in front of the net. Square ball. Number 14 recovers nicely to hit that out of bounds for a corner kick. That was Lillian Clough, number 14, central defender for Lowell. Erica Wosik uh, taking this corner kick. Again, North Andover played last night. I hope these uniforms are washed. Oh, that went to the far post. Sam Clemus couldn't get uh, any contact on the ball. And the Lowell just has the one player, Ronnie Jones. There she is, up top. So after a corner kick, they're gonna have some difficulty getting any counterattacks going. Nice defense on Janie Papel there. There's the ball up to Ronnie Jones. Oh, nice touch by number 21, defended by Ainsley Chittick. That was Jackie Pierce. Looked a little dangerous. Nice one touch from Ella Rowe to Sam Clemus. Oh, that's an ambitious ball for Janie Papel. She might, is she gonna run out of real estate? She saves it and now uh, it went out. Uh, the referee didn't see, uh, see it go out, still in play. That's Sam Clemus. Ella Rowe, Ella Slayton, she's gonna go for goal? No, yes she is. She had uh, Erica Wosick on the 18 yard line there on the right. Decided to go for goal, wide to the left. Caitlin Dowdy in the game. Number 12 at uh, left midfield, left forward. North Andover on the attack. Lowell coach says just container. That's Ellis Layton. Erica Wosick got too far underneath that. Oh, that the, the goal that troubled the goalie. Fortunately for Lowell, that went over the, the crossbar. 1-0 North Andover, 28 minutes left. First half. Crowd is filling in, mostly parent types. Maybe some grandparents. That throw, that throw did not go in bounds. It's gonna give it to North Andover. Goalie did not pick it up, just decided to kick it. Sam Clemus couldn't find Quinn Phillips, low throwing. There's a push in the back. Got called on North Andover. There's a free kick, Lowell spread out on about 20 yards out. That's over everyone's head. Easy play for Paige Puffini. Emma Wenner warming up with the ball on the far side, far field. Working on her dribbling skills to the left of the, the center line, behind the, she's going behind the bench now. Sam Clemus, nice square ball to Ellis Slate, and she has plenty of space. Through ball to Erica Wosick. They've been uh, looking for each other so far in this first half. 
It's uh, Charlotte Martel uh, making some nice runs out of the midfield. Erica Wosik is, is at fo left forward tonight. Uh, she was at uh, outside at the, in the midfield, I believe, last night. It's Janie Papel. Charlotte Martel is at the far post. No one was there at the penalty spot, cleared by Lowell. Carol for, from North Andover Sports Stars Photography is at on the sideline here on the near side with her camera next to the ball girls. Taking some candid shots. No one there for North Andover. Too far away to, to shoot that ball. It's off the low player throwing. I mean, catch that number. That might be Emma Scully in the game, number eight. Not sure that's number eight or not. Jordan Lampier with her first touch. Lives the wiki out of bounds for a goal kick. Went right at uh, Ellis Layton. That is Emma Scully in the game with the uh, bright blue shoes at right midfield. Sam Klemas, nice touch to the outside. Paige Papa in the game, number 29, the class president. Discus thrower as well. Shout out to her friend Anya, Courtney O'Neill. Kevin, the adorable Kevin Packer, shout out to him. I'm, I'm listing all of Paige Papa's friends. 1-0 North Andover, 24 minutes left, first half. All the action has been in the Lowell defensive end. I think that's Sam Clemus, Jordan Lampier. El <laughs> Emma Scully couldn't quite control that ball. Emma Scully plays lacrosse for North Andover. Kendall rolling in at uh, center back with Maddie Jackson with the bright uh, neon shoes. Jackie Rogers, the other player with the bright neon shoes, is out at midfield. There the, she is with the ball now, Jackie Rogers. Shout out to younger sister, Sydney Rogers. There's Ronnie Jones again, the championship shot putter. I think she threw the shot put 35, 36 feet. She won, I don't know if she won MVCs or she won the division one state sectionals. Kind of an upset, she improved a lot. She is a junior, so we have two more years to deal with her, try to find a thrower to deal with her on the track team. Sam Clemus, nice touch to Janie Papel. Emma Scully's making a run on the right side. See, Ellis Layton's all in all by herself. All in, in, went around the goalie. Ellis Layton's too fast for that goalkeeper. 2 0 North Andover. Just a battle for the ball. Ellis Layton just beat the last defender for the ball, found herself all alone. With the goalies, timeout uh, North. Uh, excuse me, timeout Lowell. I think uh, North Andover is going to go. Already has gone to their bench. North Andover has already gone to their bench. I think they're going to go even deeper into the bench if this game gets out of hand.
Very quiet parent section here to my left. Rappel doing the uh, professional wrestling stretch, or I think he's trying to bend the uh, stands back. Got a little mechanical malfunction in the in the parent section. Twenty-one minutes, fifty-five seconds left, first half. Low coach Mike Wilson is talking to the keeper. Is that Courtney O'Neill? Courtney O'Neill, Coach Bags, your best friend. Shout out to Courtney O'Neill, she's here. I mentioned her earlier as one of Paige Papa's friends. That was, uh, I should have waited for Courtney to make an appearance. Courtney O'Neill's a track star. Maybe she can deal with Ronnie Jones. She's throwing the shot put 33 feet. The disc is 95 feet. Runner up at the Merrimack Valley Conference Championships and the discus was Courtney O'Neill. All right, low, uh, North Hanover just scored their second goal. And Emma Scully's out near us in the blue shoes, number eight. Ellis Layton's still in there. Is that still Janie Papel? I'm guessing it might not be. It is. Paige Papa couldn't quite find Sam Klamath. Throw in low. Paige Papa, Sam Clemus, Janie Papel, back to Clemus. Jordan Lampere. Oh, nice little side touch. Right foot, left foot, she's in space, Jordan Lampere is. Went for goal. Oh, off the keeper and in. I thought that was a very ambitious shot, but it went in. High fives all around the parent section. 3-0, that was quick. Just a minute oh, from their last goal. Zawicki with the ball. She's in space. That's up to Emma Scully. Ellis Layton lets it go. Lowell throwing. Lowell has quite a few freshmen on their team. I count four. Quite a few seniors. Only five juniors. There's Ellis Slayton. She's fast. Trying to find Janie Papel. Didn't see the Lowell defender in the passing lane. Emma Palmasano, the junior, in at right back. Shout out to older brother Matt Palmasano. Emma is on the track team. She uh, runs like 400, 600, 800, depending on whether it's indoor or outdoor track. Ella Rowe in a little pushing match with number 21, who's Jackie Pierce. It's Paige Papa, tricky dribbling. Another tricky dribble. Went a little too far out in front of her. Maddie Jackson didn't get there in time, but it was a, uh, off Lowell. Here's Emma Palmasano, off the Lowell player, throw in North Andover. Shout out to David Haley, he's here from Central Catholic, the basketball star. 
He can, he's hot from th up behind the three-point line, I hear. I've never seen him play. So Ella Rowe defending, Paige Papa, Janie Papel. Nice square ball to Maddie Jackson, the center back. Couldn't find Jackie Rogers. Jenny Papel. Jenny Papel is a three sports star. She's uh, on the varsity basketball team, varsity lacrosse team, and varsity soccer team. All as a freshman. She's a sophomore now. Ronnie Jones carries it down nicely. Maddie Jackson called for the hold. She didn't think so. Finally, the big person gets a call. Usually, it's the they all the call the falls on the big guy instead of the little guy. Speaking as a big guy myself. Paige Puffini, the North Andover goalie. Shout out to her younger brother, Don Puffini, the third. And dad, I guess, Don Puffini, the second, or junior. It's Janie Papel had a through ball to Emma Scully. She was calling for it, didn't get anywhere near her, though. Jackie, is that Jackie Pierce? No, that's Melissa Major in the midfield. Nice tricky dribbling. Still got it. Square ball. In between two low players. Throw in North Andover. North Andover is substituting. Maddie Jackson coming out. I believe she doesn't come out very often. No, she's playing left house. They didn't wait for her to get off the field before they started this play. Jordan Lampere with the, uh, with the ball. She went for goal again. It worked the first time. Why not go again? Nice ball. Ainsley Chittick out to Erica Wosick. Couldn't they get by the low defender. Corner kick North Andover. North Andover has one player, Jordan Lampere, in front of the goalie, and then five players along the 18-yard line spread out. This ball's kind of going towards Jordan Lampere, was short, defended well by Lowell. Didn't get, that corner didn't go high enough. It's Quinn Phillips back in the game. Ainsley Chittick uh, no longer on the back line, I don't think, or maybe, maybe not. I think number 17 in the midfield is Casey Goland, JV player. I think it's Kay. It looks like Casey. She's not on the roster. So I believe that's Casey Goland playing midfield. Lowell substituting. Four, uh, 15 minutes left, 3 0 North Andover. North Andover in black. Lowell in the gray. That's uh, Cassidy Bulow, number two, in for forward. That's a nice contact. Referee lets it go. Oh, this is, Lowell has a little attack here in space. Quinn Phillips stuck her foot out. Ronnie Jones running into that. Ainsley Chittick first to the ball. Ball girls, one's juggling. One was doing some volleyball skills. One's sitting on the ball. So there's four ball girls, ball boys. Here's Ronnie Jones. I don't know who that was defending. Is that Emma Palmas? I don't know. Kendall Rulin with the key defensive play there on Ronnie Jones. Keeper calls it. They let it go off for a goal kick. 13 minutes left. First half. North Dan over three. Lowell zero. Is 
Lowell has uh, four coaches on their bench. Mike Wilson, Mike Higgins, Joe Tazone, Megan Birking. They were razzing each other before the game when I asked for the lineup. North Andover has four coaches. Uh, Lisa Razanen, Debbie Daly, Jen Pino, Caitlin Enright. I was telling the North Andover team before the game, my last uh, sporting accomplishment was a summer soccer league with uh, Lisa Razanen, Debbie Daly, and Kim D'Alessandro as my teammates. Cassidy Bulo, number two, up at forward. That's Ella Rowe. A little hesitation there. Ella Rowe has it. Couldn't quite find Oh, she did find it, Cassidy Bulo. Tried to go around the, the lower left back. Isabella Patino, but uh, hit it too hard. Ella Rowe can find the ball. Found it quickly. Dangerous ball. North Andover has defenders back. That's Melissa Magus in the midfield. Erica Wosick is in midfield again. Jordan Lampere, too hard, bouncing ball. Erica Wosick gets it back. That was Ella Rowe. Some North Andover uh, players, maybe a little too uh, optimistic on these deep shots. Tried to work the ball around a little bit more, get a little more passing. I think they can pass their way through this low old defense. Charlotte Martel back in at right midfield, close to your camera. Maddie Jackson up at forward with Ella Slayton. Ella Slayton back in. The back line being really uh, shuffled a little bit. Palmasano, Chittick, Kendall Ruland, Quinn Phillips on the back line. That's Sam Clemus in. That's Matty Jackson, Clemus. That was saved nicely by Erica Wosick. Tried to find Matty Jackson, I think, at center forward. Got cut out. Can't find Ronnie Jones. That's Kendall Ruland. Like one too many touches. Ronnie Jones wins the, wins the battle for the ball. She got pushed from behind a little bit. That kind of helped her out. There's four defenders there. Can't find Maddie Jackson again. Sam Clemus. Ten minutes left, first half. North End over three. Lowell zero. Erica Wosick went by one defender without much trouble. Finds Maddie Jackson. Out to Ella Slate, and I think she's going to go for goal. No, square ball to Casey Goal, and she's all by herself. Oh, put it wide left. She might have had more time than she thought. Maybe she could have taken a touch to the right and in front of her. Maybe not. There was defenders close by. Getting a little colder now, and as this half goes along, sun is set when the game starts. It's about seven. Ronnie Jones to Lowell, the uh, sole forward, is way over to the far side of the field at midfield. She's adjusting her positions. Maybe she's trying to, oh, Ainsley Chittick in top right. Well placed. She was staring at that upper right corner, and she is left footed. And she put it right where she wanted. 4 0 North Andover. The all MVC discus thrower. Third place, 95 feet. Finds the back of the net. She chose placement over power, although that, that shot had some speed to it. Paige Papa back in, Liv's Wiki back in, Blue Shoes Emma Scully back in here at right midfield or right forward. 
Jackie Rogers with the neon uh, green shoes is midfield. That's Quinn Phillips. Erica Wosick is still in. She has the ball. Going by Lowell defenders with ease. Throw in North Andover. Nice turn by Sam Clemus. So the other senior captain, Ellis Slayton. You can tell they've played with each other for quite some time. Goal kick, Lowell. Marf has uh, switched out to midfield near the trainer's golf cart. He was our public address announcer. No one to announce the goals. I think Mr. Nugent, the brand spanking new athletic director and head boys track coach is in the press box. Saw Michaela Blaney in the press box earlier. Did we not, Aiden? She's in the Hall of Fame. She was a soccer goalie. She was a basketball player and she uh, did the triple jump and stuff like that on the track team. Very good triple jumper. I think uh, basketball could have been her best sport, but maybe we'll ask her that instead of guessing. Older sister Brooke Blaney is also in the Hall of Fame. Same three sports. Goalie change for Lowell. I think that could be Ronnie Jones going back and goal. Trying to get the gloves off. It's a little wrestling match going on between the new goalkeeper and the old goalkeeper. I can't wait to tell Coach Dell that uh, Lowell has a soccer player throwing the shot put. I always try to get soccer players to try the throwing events. I am Coach Bags from the track team, North Andover's discus friend. Erica Wosick with the throw in. That's, is that Casey Gold? No, that's Sam Clemus. Oh, could try to find Emma Scully. Yeah, she's onto it. She's looking at goal. Ronnie Jones with a nice save. I don't know if North Andover knows is a goalie change, but I'm not sure they're adjusting their play. This goalie might have a, di a different uh, set of skills and a different attack might be worthwhile. Might take a while to figure that out. Lives a wiki key uh, interception there. Oh, she finds herself in space looking for Emma Scully. Nicely weighted ball by Lives a wiki. She has Ellis Slayton. Oh, tapped it in. Fifth goal. That could have been offsides, but the referee was in no position to see it. Scully, I was Zawicki to Scully, squared over to Slayton, off the goalie, Ronnie Jones, and easy goal for Ellis Slayton at the far post. It's 5-0, North Andover, still in the first half. Four minutes, 50 seconds left. It's Jackie Rogers with the ball. Couldn't find Emma Scully there. A little too, too far away. Here's Paige Papa, class president. There's a little miscommunication there. It'll be a low throw in. Nice ball there. Well, Slayton intercepts. Jackie Rogers. Uh, the referee, referee was uh, didn't quite decide. Maybe he didn't wasn't aware of the colors, but uh, little guy won out that time. They always call the foul on the big person, which was Jackie Rogers in that case. Not that I disagree with the call. Throwing low. Low throw in again. 
Well, uh, North Area has quite a few defenders, the, the midfielders and the defense back. Outnumber uh, Lowell quite a bit on that defensive end, and they get forward quickly. Jackie Rogers couldn't quite control it. He's looking for uh, Sam Clemus. That should be an easy ball for Paige Puffini. Three minutes left, first half. 5-0 North Andover. Maddie Jackson still up in the air. Ella Slayton has it. She's going to go around the long way, maybe cross it to the far post. Emma Scully's there. Off the low player. Throw in North Andover, both teams substituting. Jordan Lampere in the game. Cassidy Bulow in the game. There's Jordan Lampere with it. Nice pal ball to Maddie Jackson. Fires it in. That was curling to the right. Ronnie Jones with the save. Erica Wosick. Here's an attack for Lowell. Oh, little Liv Zawicki was waiting for that touch. A little heavy and she intercepted it. Liv Zwicky uh, was played basketball last year, did uh, fall two track, so-called indoor track, and spring track, four sport athlete last year. Jordan Lampere, oh there's a handball, referee wasn't interested. I think it was a handball, video won't lie. Here's Liv Zwicky, she's in space, head up, didn't find anything, nice decision there. Ainsley Chittick. She's going to go wide to Erica Wosick down the far side. Nice idea. And they'll hit it a little too hard. Last two minutes, first half. Time is kept on the field by the referees. Here's Erica Wosick. Erica Wosick is wearing uh, non school issued socks, they have a little stripe on the side. Maybe didn't get her socks washed last night after last night's game. Or she took the wrong socks out of the sock drawer. Who knows? Here's Gordon, Lam excuse me, Gordon. Jordan Lampere going for goal. Referee says goal kick. Awfully quiet all of a sudden. And ACAN Sports always looking for volunteers, both behind and in front of the cameras. If you're tired of listening to me, you we can listen to you. Lives a wiki. Nice touch to the outside. Paige Papa takes control. Couldn't find Jordan Lampere. Goal kick low. I think that's just gonna about to do it for the first half. I don't see the referees looking at their watches. Oh, there's the far side referee looking at their watch. Maybe after this kick, they're gonna blow this. I predict they're gonna call this right after this kick. It's gonna be the end of the first half. I was wrong. And there's the whistle, the end of the first half. North End over five, Lowell zero. All the action was a Lowell defense line. We'll be back for the second half. Welcome back everyone. Second half will start shortly. North Andover dominated that first half. 
five goals for North Andover. They could have used one or two of those goals last night against Moscow. Jordan Lampere will put the ball in play. Janie, Le Janie Papel is on the far side midfield. Cassidy Bulo is also at forward. I think it's Charlotte Martel on the far side with the ball. It's gonna cross the ball right to the goalkeeper. Getting kind of chilly here at Walsh Stadium. The wind is picking up a little bit. The sun's been down for a while. That went over Ainsley Chittick's head. She has plenty of time. Trying to find... Uh, tried to find Emma Palmasano, number 12. I think uh, she had other options. First half, just second half just underway. That throw is going to go not out of bounds. Emma Palmasano fighting with it. Trying to find up, up the side. Lowell throwing. Ella Rowe in the midfield. Casey Golan starting in, in the midfield in this second half. Oh, it's a little North Andover throw in. That's uh, Ella Rowe. Foul on Lowell. Ainsley Chittix with the strong left foot will take this free kick. Oh, went over the Lowell defender's head. Jackie Pierce. Here's Ella Rowe. Lowell going uh, from left to right. North Andover going from right to left. Nice play by Cassidy Bulow getting it out to Charlotte Martell. She hits the end line, gonna cross it. I think it went off the Lowell defender's leg, but still made it to a Lowell, uh, North Andover attack, a dangerous pass. Corner kick North Andover to the left of uh, the goal. Does Annie take the corner? I don't know who Annie is. Janie Papel's going over to the ball. It's North Andover line, likes to line up on the 18 yard line at the top of the penalty area. They kind of spread out. I see Martel, Bulo, Goland, Ella Rowe. It's going to be a left footed in swinger. And they had Jordan Lampere in front of the goalie. Couldn't find a North Andover foot. Offside. Kendall Rulin uh, tried to find a North Andover attacker, but they were offside. Thirty-seven minutes left, second half. The sophomore Aiden Stone up behind the camera. Honor student, pizza lover. Chocolate chip ice cream fan. Emma Palmasano with the throw in. Jordan Lampier gonna throw it in. Looking for Cassidy Bulo. There it goes in the corner. Jordan Lampier trying to chase it down. Lowell wins the race to the ball. Throw in North Andover. I'm Coach Bags, North Andover's discus friend from the track team. Aiden, I was able to verify at halftime that uh, scoreboard operator Michaela Blaney's best sport in high school was basketball, the shooting guard. She is in the Hall of Fame and she, she had a hard time picking out a favorite sport so I got the impression uh, she was good at all three. Soccer goalie, number 14 for Lowell is down. Clock is stopped. That's Lillian Clough, the central defender, lower leg injury. The Zwickys are here. Shout out to Katie Foss, Zwicky mom, and uh, Dad Vince and cool little brother Aiden. 
both Aiden and uh, Mrs. Zwicky have matching knee braces, unfortunately. I hope they have a speedy recovery. Vince Zwicky, the pride of Sterling Heights, Michigan. Allegedly a great athlete, three sports, football, basketball, baseball. Trying to have a hard time verifying Vince's uh, high school sports exploits. I will say though, if uh, the hockey game broke out at the senior center, I'd want uh, Vince on my team. I, I think I'd be behind Vince taunting the other team as a matter of fact. Sterling Heights, Michigan, a long way away. I can see Katie Foss, Sawicki's Hall of Fame plaque right behind me in the hallways of North Andover High School. That smiling face behind the glass. Katie Zawicki was a star distance runner, Cal champion in cross country, maybe the 800 meters perhaps in outdoor track. Still young, but not young enough to have Coach Rick Delakai for language arts. We're back in play, North Andover throw in. That's Jordan Lampere. Finds Casey Golan. Nice square ball. Switch fields to Emma Palmasano. She goes for goal. Right off the keeper. Offside. I didn't know if that was offside or not. That ball was hit off the goalkeeper from Emma Palmasano sometime before Jordan Lampere hit the ball. I'm not sure um, if that was offside or not, but. We'll give the referee the benefit of the doubt. I thought that was an ambitious effort by Emma Palmasano, but uh, it was effective. Jordan Lampier going for goal. That went to the right of the net. She couldn't get around on that ball. Thirty-four minutes and seconds left in this second half. Oh, that went past. That was, uh, not sure who that was. Paige Papa runs it down. The Charlotte Martel. Couldn't find a teammate, straight to Ronnie Jones. High goal kick, or high uh, punt, Emma Palmasano. Went out of bounds before Emma Palmasano touched the ball. Into Jordan Lampere. Couldn't control it. I saw a shout out to Stan Wosick. I saw him in the crowd. Oh, nice ball from Lampier to Papel. She's gonna be able to keep that in play. Trying to get around that one defender. Nice defending by Lowell. Oh, nice touch. Ella Rhoda, Janie Papel. Wide right, she took it with her left foot. And we'll try to go cross court, cross a goal. I saw cross country captain Matt McDevitt in the crowd. Shout out to him. Big cross country race tomorrow against Methuen and Harold Parker State Forest. By the time you see this video, that, that uh, race will be over. Jordan Lampier in on goal. I think she's gonna go for goal. Tried to chip it over the goalkeeper. 5-0 North Andover, 32 minutes left, second half. It's Janie Papel, sophomore, three-sport varsity star. Basketball and lacrosse, they say lacrosse is their best sport. Oh, there's a nice through ball to 
Cassidy Bulo. Nice job, Ronnie Jones coming off her line. Shot put champion, Ronnie Jones. Quinn Phillips coming in the game. Jackie Rogers coming in the game. At the next uh, North End of a throw in. I think that's Kendall Rule in defending way on the far side of the field. Oh, Casey Goland. Nice touch to Gordon Lampier. A little collision in the midfield. Play on. Is that Jackie Rogers trailing the play? Jordan Lampier goes for goal. Goal kick. Blue Shoes, Emma Scully back in on midfield. Quinn Phillips back in at left back. It's Jackie Rogers with the ball. Emma Palmasano can't keep it in play. Phillips just kicks the ball out of bounds. Low throw in. Another low throw in, same spot. Emma Palmasano has uh, Cassidy Pulo. Nice square ball to Charlotte Martel. Is she gonna run it down? She is. Here's Cassidy Bulo. Nice square ball. I think she's passing the ball, no one there. Emma Palmasano ran over her foot. Promising attack for Lowell. Paige Buffini going outside the penalty area. Only uh, one other Lowell attacker she had to worry about. Emma Scully with those blue shoes. Touch to the inside. Oh, through ball to Cassidy Bulo. She's going to get it. She couldn't get her foot on it. I think she was staring at the keeper. Took her eye off the ball a little bit. Nice pass. Casey Goland going into forward. Charlotte Martel in the center midfield with Jackie Rogers. Number two, Cassidy Bulo, the other forward. Jackie Rogers with the ball. Oh, nice back heel to uh, Liv Zawicki. Back to Rogers. Staying in the goal. Hit it right at the keeper. Nice save, Paige Buffini. North Hanover 
tyrant section goes wild. I think our microphone is back. Changing the batteries on the fly. 27 minutes left. Here's Liv's a wiki. Oh, nice play by the Lowell defense. Goalkeeper called her off from shielding the ball until that occurred. They let it bounce. Emma Palmasano. Charlotte Martel, nice ball to Blue Shoes Emma Scully. Casey Goland. And Palmasano again. Should I bounce? Ball girl on the field in the tie dye sweatshirt. I wish I knew her name, but I don't. It's Quinn Phillips clearing the ball. Casey Golan, nice touch to Cassidy Bulo. Nice square ball to Liv Zawicki. North Andover's three attackers. See if Liv Zawicki can pick one of them out. She's a left footed player, squares it. Bulo to Emma Scully. That was a very promising attack from North Andover. All underclassmen, I believe, in that play. Emma Palmasano to Charlotte Martel. She takes a touch to her right. Oh, nice ball to, uh, to Liv Zawicki to Cassidy Bulo. She has players to each side. Timely defending. That was number 18, still in play. Olivia Gallagher is number 18 for Lowell. Two key defensive plays. 25 minutes left, second half. 5-0 North Andover. It's 5-0 at halftime. North Andover has uh, some, some reserves up front. Oh, Charlotte Martell. Oh, she's trying to get ahead on it. Went over her head. Zama Palmasano with it. Here's Emma Scully. Oh, nice pass to Cassidy Bulo. Offsides. Referee uh, was right in line with that play. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Rob Crane is here, right from uh, his shift at the fire station, North the end of a firefighter. And Hall of Famer, Rob Crane, soccer captain, New England champion in the Intermediate Hurdlers in 1991. That was Kendall Ruland trying to pick out Casey Goland. Paige Papa. Here's a promising Lowell attack. Couldn't find her teammate to the left. Emma Palmasano. Here's the ball in the penalty area, too hard. Paige Buffini controls it. Over to Liv Zawicki. Oh, nice steal by Kendall Ruland. Couldn't find Emma Scully. That was not Kendall Ruland. That was Cassidy Bulo with that play. So I'm Matt McDevitt with the uh, Ella Slayton cutout figure. At halftime, I, I saw Matt. 
I saw Gabby Hardy here. She's going to take pictures. She's still injured. She's not going to run in tomorrow's cross-country race against Methuen. Couldn't find Liv Zwicky with that cross. Liv Zwicky tracks it down, overruns the ball. And as Cassidy Bulow steals the ball, finally up Paige Papa will control it. She'll find that's, Cass, that's Cassidy Bulow again. Had not seen Emma Wenner today's game. Not sure she'll see any action. There's Emma Scully, Cassidy Bulow, I think Casey Golden was offside, but Emma Scully is not. Right footed shot. Wide left. Maybe she could have had a little more poise and uh, tried to get closer to goal. Maybe find a teammate, make some defenders commit. Janie Papel back in the game at left back, I believe. Charlotte Martel is at left midfield. There she is in the ball. Jordan Lampier back in the game. This is Janie Papel. Erica Wosick in the game at uh, center back, left center back. Maddie Jackson, the other center back. Kendall Rulin at right back. More substitutions by North Andover. Looks like Sam Clemus is going to go in at right back. And Ellis Slayton coming in on the midfield. Oh, we have a goalie change. I think that's Logan Crane. Is that number 39? Yeah, I think it is Logan Crane. We did the shout out to Rob Crane, her dad, earlier. Erica Wosick with the ball. Janie Papel. I think that ball was going to Casey Goal and she ran away from it. Looking for Casey Golan perhaps with this throw in. He, she did not, she let it go. Casey Golan's got the ball now. Nice square ball to Ellis Layton. That right side of the net was open. I think she wanted to curl it into the net, but got the wrong spin on the ball. Twenty minutes left, second half, five zero North Andover. Cassidy Bulow finding a teammate. Couldn't communicate with Ellis Slayton. Sam Clemus defending. Low with a little possession. Ellis Slayton had going with the blue shoes as well. Casey Gull, a nice touch. Went for the goal. Ronnie Jones not troubled at all. Maddie Jackson, nice touch. Gonna, a little uh, too far for Ellis Layton. Sam Clemus with the ball. Shout out to Lori Clemus. Ella Slayton, heavy touch, too heavy. Oh, there's a little leg injury, lower leg injury, some leg contact there. Little defender is getting up, still limping. I think she's okay. Maddie Jackson again, coming out of the defensive end. Is that a nutmeg? Find Ella Slayton. Ella Slayton was in so much space. That was kind of ambitious in my view. Ella Slayton's one captain. Sam Clemus is the other. She's playing right back at the moment. Erica Wosick back there. Lives the wiki. North Andover getting the first ball, getting the second ball. That low defender, still kind of limping, but looks like she's okay. Erica Wosick asking uh, Logan Crane to come out, get that ball. Erica 
That bounces over everyone. Ellis Slayton to it. Just couldn't control it. Still bouncing around. Sam Clemus with the steal. Nice ball to Casey Goland. Nicely defended. And number 18. Charlotte Martel. North Andover throwing. They're substituting on the North Andover throw-in. Sixteen minutes. Five zero North Andover is five zero at halftime. Oh, Casey Golan turned it. Cassidy Bulo, every left for everyone. Lives the wiki in there. Goalie overran it. Lowell defender finally got to clear it. That's another nice uh, key uh, touch there. Ball has a mind of its own these last uh, couple seconds. Off Carol Darty's leg, our camera woman. Charlotte Martell, Ella Slayton. She goes for goal right at Veronica Jones. No harm done. She spilled it a little bit. Some of these North Andover reserves don't realize they have time on the ball. They're usually in a hurry, but uh, if when they're in space, they have a little time to look for a teammate, make a touch into space. It's out of bounds off of Erica Wozik's head. Maddie Jackson got a nice little chuckle out of that. Maddie Jackson doing a little dance moves as well there at center back position. Let's be a low, no, North Andover throw in. I didn't have it that way. Promising attack for North Andover. Slayton to Goland. Squared it to Jordan Lampier. A nice little touch. Another nice little touch. Through the goalkeeper's legs. Own goal. Lives a wiki. I think hit it off the goalie or the defender. Jordan Lampier had a couple touches. Stared the goalkeeper in the eyes. Went right through her legs. I think it hit one of her legs. Went wide. Libzewicki picked it up. Crossed it. I think it went off the goalie. Own goal. 6-0 North Andover. Libzewicki coming out of the midfield. Right midfield to, to hit that ball in off the low defense. Erica Wozik, shout out to Katie Woe. I think she's at Emerson playing soccer. I think it's Emerson, that was her plan, I think. One of those Boston schools. Could have been an Emmanuel. An Emerson, Emmanuel, one of those E schools. Could have been Wentworth. Ella Slayton, touch into space. That, oh, she has speed, she's on the track team. That was a dangerous looking ball. No North Andover player was ready for it. 13 minutes left, second half. Just playing out the string here. 6 0 North Andover. There's uh, Casey Golan stealing the ball. Lives a wiki. Aiden uh, Zwicky was here with the McFlurry before the game. Little brother, Jordan Lampier's little brother, Gabe was not here, but I heard his team won the championship over at Labor Day in North Reading, town soccer tournament, just like the one in North Andover on Columbus Day coming up. Knights on the run, 
road race coming October 16th. I think that's a Saturday in the morning. 5K run for adults. I think there's a kid's run. I don't know how, maybe a mild kid's run. I will not be participating. I don't think Aiden is gonna be, our cameraman is gonna be running in any 5K. It's 3.1 miles, just like the cross country race tomorrow against Methuen and Harold Parker, State Forest. Maddie Jackson. There's Jordan Lampere. She's running out to the ball. She has three options to her right. Finds Casey Goal and back to Jordan. Crosses the ball to the far post. Lives the wiki is late. She has options over to Cassidy Bulo. Goal North Andover. That's, I think I was talking about that earlier. Instead of going for goal, you have more time, more time on the ball, more touches, and plenty of options for teammates. 7 0. 11 minutes left. North Andover trying all kinds of players at new positions. I'm sure Lowell's doing the same. Erica Wosick, the miler, out of the midfield. She got fouled. Referee, nine inch, referee plays advantage. Eric Slayton's going to goal. Wide right. Goal kick. North Andover. If you're watching this video on YouTube, Hit the like button, hit the dislike button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Can't leave any comments. Anyone who needs a shout out, you can reach out to Coach Bags on Instagram or if you know my email address or phone number, you can text me. I'll give you a shout out, like Sydney Rogers. Does Sydney Rogers need a shout out? Shout out to Sydney Rogers. Quinn Phillips with the ball. I think this is Kendall Ruland on defense on the left. Nice defending by Lowell. Dispossessed Quinn Phillips, so look out. Didn't see Casey Golan catching up to that defender. Here's Kendall Ruland. Sophomore. Quinn Phillips. That was out of bounds, North and overthrowing. Coach's father is here. Always at every game. Bill Jensen, shout out to him. Basketball official scorer for all uh, North and over home games. Oh, here comes uh, Liv Zawicki. Hits it with her right foot. She's naturally the left footer, I believe. Nice save, Ronnie Jones. She's got some, uh, some quite a hit on that ball. Had some speed to it. Kind of rolling. Finds Liv Zawicki again. Couldn't control that ball. Our undefeated volleyball team is in action against Methuen on Wednesday night. As I previously said, our undefeated cross country teams. Also against Methuen at Harrow Parker State Farm. Less than eight minutes left, second half, 7 0 North Andover.
Paige Papa in it right back. Shout out to Gay Papa. Like an entrepreneur, business student at uh, Bentley, or is it Babson? One of those Waltham schools. Is that Emma Palmasano moving over to the right side of the field? She's in midfield now, or is she on deep? She's on midfield. All of North Andover midfielders and forwards are really scrunched over to the right side of the field. I'm not sure what positions they're playing. Jackie Rogers in there with the neon green shoes. Liv Zawicki's in there. I think Charlotte Martell is a forward. Over the top for Lowell. Kendall Ruland tried to touch it over to Quinn Phillips, throwing North Andover. That's Ella Rowe in the game. Has those uh, Erica Wosick socks. Lives a wiki. Ella Slick, you know, excuse me, that was Emma Scully trying to find Charlotte Martell. Both have blue shoes, Emma Scully does and Ella Sling does. Too ambitious for Quinn Phillips. Kendall Rowland. Nice ball, lived to Charlotte Martell. She couldn't find it. She's on the ball now. That was too ambitious, that through ball to Emma Scully. Ronnie Jones will pick it up. Five minutes left. North End over seven, Lowell zero. Bill Jensen uh, thought North End over was a very unlucky Last night against Masco, he felt North Andover dominated. I think they did have the better of the action. They hit the uh, crossbar once. I thought they hit the post twice. Bill Jensen said they hit the post three times against Masco. Masco didn't have as many chances, certainly, as North Andover did, but they made one count. It was 1-0 last night. Here's low in the, in, in the attacking zone. That's Kendall Rule and stepping into that passing lane. Bench is uh, encouraging Emma Scully to pressure the ball. I think that's, was that Emma Scully defending there on the, in, on the right back? That's Emma Palmasano, I think, at right back. Paige Papa to take the goal kick. Finds Ella Rowe. I might have uh, misidentified uh, uh, Erica Wosick and Ella Rowe. They both have the socks on with the stripe on the side. They have similar numbers. Charlotte Martel takes a little nudge. A little pushing contest. Okay, I think Paige Buffini is in that um, center mid or center back. That's her, and the, goal, the goalkeeper for North Andover is playing the field. She has stripes on the side of her shoes as well. Uh, her socks, I should say. Two minutes, 45 seconds left. Here's Paige Puffini. 
Paige Feeney trying to get into the attack a little bit. She's run, making a run down the midfield. No one's following her. Oh, ambitious. I think uh, Jackie Rogers could have hit it over the goalkeeper's head if it was well hit. So I think that was a nice idea, but uh, a little short and a little left. Did not trouble Ronnie Jones at all. Over Jackie Rogers' head. Emma Palmasano. I think that's Libzewicki. Now that's Jackie Rogers over to Libzewicki. Found uh, Emma Scully. This is Charlotte Martell over to Quinn Phillips. Has options. Took a dangerous bounce off a Lowell defender. Ella Rowe with a touch. A lot of uh, cheering from the North Andover sideline. And that'll do it. Big victory for North Andover. Seven to zero is five to zero at halftime. Not a close contest. You've been watching North Andover Camp Sports for Aiden Stone. I'm Coach Bags. Good night.